Yo, what's going on, sexy simulator squad? We're here doing a ranked one v one. It is the last video of the A to Z series. Zong Kuei, animosity, telekines, doubled up on all of it. Double animosity, double telekines, double fragage, and just tanky enough. To make sure that nobody can stop us. Sounds like a plan to me, man. Sounds like a plan to me. Wait. Oh. Okay. Um. We go Aegis. We start this. And he might steal the red. The reason I'm saying that is because I started red last game. I was fighting this guy last game. And I started red. With this build. And I took the red. And he... Proceeded to immediately tell me that he is not playing the game because I'm building animosity. So I wonder if he's going to do the same thing this game because I'm getting the red buff and then going to outclear him because I'm just earlier than him. I don't know. I suppose we will find out. Yo, Warlock Staff. I haven't seen that item since Season 1. Nice, nice. Got the red buff. Yeah, you definitely don't win the fight when I'm the one with red buff. In fact, it's not even going to be close. So maybe just back up. That being said, I have no man at all. So maybe he will win the, the fight. I just I just need to live through this now nice we live boys it's like that picture of um, that guy in the hospital where he took a he took a selfie and sent it to his his mom or his ex-girlfriend or something and they, they and he sent it and said I live bitch <laughs> Oh, that's a funny picture. I'm not very far ahead, actually. I don't expect to be, though. Like, I'm going animosity, so... I expect to be just vibing until level 17, and then I kill everything in my sight. Also, a double animosity procs. I am going to a obliterate towers just just absolutely shit on them especially with the uh 30 increased damage Who can we catch he actually got warlock staff i feel like warlock staff if it had more hp would be a good item but as it is currently it's pretty bad it does have 10% pen now, though, which is nice. I'll admit. Man, if you did literally any damage, I might be afraid of you. He comboed me? He, like, full comboed me. And it did almost no damage. relic beads wait i thought that you become ruta moon when you alt clearly i'm mistaken you're the chosen one 
Oh, he's low HP. I'm kind of low HP too, but I think my HP is better than his. Especially because I can do this. Be full HP. Damn, he's letting that whole tower go into wave. Actually? All right. All right, my man's got no fear. What can I say? That's a ballsy ass move. That is a ballsy fucking move. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. I'm gonna go Pestilence here. Obviously, Pestilence gives 250 HP, which I'm going Animosity, so I want. And uh, stops his healing just a little bit. Just a little bit. He probably backed and quit and, and gave up that wave. Um, because he wants this red buff, if I had to guess. Uh, but here I am doing the red buff and he's not coming. Hmm. Okay, I'm confused officially. I don't know. I don't know why he just gave up that entire wave. Are you just trying to push my tower down? Like, what's the play here? Okay. Oh, he still heals if I Aegis that. I feel like I'm surprised by that literally every game. We are vibing. I need to vine this game though. This motherfucker has so much healing. He's got Chalice. He's got HP Chalice. He's got Baron's Brew. And he's got his two. Just an infinite amount of healing. Oh, we got his beads. We're just pressing one on him. We got his beads. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm 800 gold ahead of him. My tower's getting fucked. Because he's, like, not farming and he's just pushing. But, uh, if I'm farming this much more than he is... Then, like, what are the odds he wins this game? Actually. Because once I get level 17, he just loses. I'm gonna go Telekines right now to get some damage, obviously. Second Relic, I don't know yet. And also, another question. Even if he is rushing my tower down, how in the motherfuck is he going to get my Phoenix without winning a fight? Answer me that question, please, because I would love to know. I do no damage, so like... Obviously, he's comfortable trading with me right now. The next red buff, though, is going to give me 30% extra damage. Alright. A man's got one HP. Honestly, you got to give it to him, right? He definitely tried there. Oh, this red buff is just beat. I mean, my, my red buff, I mean, blue buff, obviously. It's just beating my ass. I think I go beads, honestly. Like, the amount of rooting he's doing in order to heal and shit, like, is so obnoxious. All right, I'm level 13. He's only level 11, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're this far behind. 
It doesn't even matter if you get my tower or if you can't do anything with it. Hey, dude. I assume he's going for the other red buff. Red buff is all mine. You're annoying, but whatever is what it is. And honestly, sure, dude. Want to play this game? You want to play this game? I'm down. You want to play this game? I'm down. Let's go, big dog. So, so, so tanky. I have Telekines and the buff. Oh, of course, Telekines doesn't work on tower. I don't know why I thought it did. I guess I was so used to animosity working on towers that I thought every auto attack thing worked on towers. But animosity definitely does not. Just so, or animosity does. Telekines definitely does not. So we're clear. For some reason though, my brain was like, hell yeah, dude, Telekines fucks. Like, you know. <laughs> Alright, he got Sunder. I'm backing. I'm gonna go... Honestly, I'm gonna go Shogun's. Like Shogun's gives no HP, but it's defense with 25% attack speed. Why not? And then my last item is obviously gonna be Telekines. Or, uh, not Telekines. Toxic Blade. I assume he's going to go do my blue buff, but I don't think he knows I have a minion here and I'm willing to die for this thing, so. Oh, he did know I had a minion. He backed before doing my blue. <laughs> All right. Whatever. It's fine. This is fine. Um, I do have that red buff thing, so I'm actually gonna abuse it while I can. Oh, and actually, if his speed is up, I can back and get animosity too. I'm just kiting him around right now. Perfect. Animosity done. And I'm pretty sure it still does tower damage. I don't think it got changed or anything, which is dumb, by the way. But I don't think it did. So now I win the game. Yeah, I do so much damage on my autos. Holy shit. And to top it all off, it all gets increased by 30% when I pick up this red buff. So I can just, like, I could honestly backdoor that, that Phoenix. Which, by the way, get used to uh, backdooring in this map because with animosity and the way the red buffs are, it's going to happen more likely than not. I'd say. Yeah, because like I just want you guys to look at this. With the red buff and the and the animosity. Doing about 300 damage in auto. 
the Phoenix with backdoor protections on it. He is trying very hard. I just don't think there's anything you can do about this. Also, um, worth noting that the Phoenix, when it's down, actually does not allow auto attacks through it. Which in the other maps, literally every other map in the game, Conquest, um, I, oh, well, I mean, I shouldn't have to name out the maps, but every other map in the game, you can auto attack through the Phoenix once it's down. Uh, you can't do that in this map. So, kiting around the Phoenix is actually a fantastic way to stay alive. All right, you back. We finished the build. Um, I don't know if I like the Shoguns, by the way. I think I would much rather have like a Talisman of Energy instead of a Shoguns, probably. But, you know, I can't complain. Yeah, he actually, I don't think he can do anything. I can keep his Phoenix down and keep him out pressured. I just have so much attack speed. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. Double animosity, double telekines. Holy shred. Holy shred. Look at that. 19 auto attacks. Or 19. Well, I guess 19 autos, but my telekines only did 292, but my animosity did over a thousand. <laughs> That's so dumb, dude. That's so stupid. Animosity is so busted. And I mean, honestly, it's busted on Zonkwe too, so. It's double busted on Zonkwe because he abuses it twice as good. But the Telekine's animosity, I mean, we all knew that was a Zonkwe. We, everyone knew that was a Zonkwe thing. When it's doubled up and you just abuse the shit out of it. It's been in the game forever. Um, releasing this video, I think we're going to be seeing it more. I hope not because <laughs> it's actually insane. It's actually so good. Uh, it, in my opinion, might be the meta even. Um... But, I don't know, I guess we'll see how it unfolds once this video ends. That being said, that's the end of the A to Z series. Um, I am going to make this whole series into a playlist that you can watch on my channel if you missed any of those videos. I will also more than likely be running a poll, um, some sort of poll where the comment section is open on the community tab in order to find out what your favorite matches were and then tallying those up and, and um, compiling those into one video where you guys could watch the top three matches of the whole series. That would be a lot of fun, I think. Um, And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, dude. Kind of the end of a, the end of an era, the A to Z series. Coming to a close, 117 gods, man. It was not a small series. It's, it's easily the largest series I've ever done. I mean, unless you count duels as a series, then there's like 3,000 videos of those. But yeah, um, let me know some ideas for future series you guys would want to see. I think I do have one in mind. I'm going to keep it a secret for now. Uh, I think I do have one in mind, but we'll see. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this entire series. Please let me know what you think about literally all of it.
in the comment section below. And uh, if you enjoyed the video slash series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.